everyone! I'm really sorry there hasn't been any uploads recently. Uh, there's been quite a few things going on in the house. Uh, Richard hasn't really been sleeping, so... Uh, during his nap time and during the night, I don't come down to this room at all. And I'm sorry if you can hear him at the moment. Um, I'm trying to do this before I have to put him down for his afternoon nap. Um, but yeah, like when he's having a nap, I just, a nap or he's gone down for the night. I don't come down here because his room is right next door and he, any noise that I make keeps him awake longer. So yeah, not, not much has been done. <laughs> anyway, so what I thought I might do is, um, sort of my general stuff that I have with me all the time. Um, this usually comes out with me when we take Rick to, um, a big children's play activity centre thing. Um, I'll sit on one of the tables and draw while James, my husband, runs around with Rick and all sorts of stuff, but yeah, that's what happens. So, um, I guess I'll get started. Alright, so this is a pencil box that I got from... Uh, a $2 shop, kind of, it was, this was 2 bucks. the whole box was, yeah, $2, um, it's not anything special, it can hold a lot, so that's, that's why I got it, uh, I've got some random stickers on it, and I got, um, I'll have a link to the artist that I actually got these stickers from, she was at a local, um, convention that I managed to go to, and I got a pack of water starters, so yay, Pokemon! Anyway, uh, where to start? Um, okay, so this is the water container that I have. It's a little sauce bottle from I think a picnic set thing. I don't know, but it keeps water and it works pretty well. Um, and the little nozzle, it's small enough for me to put in the water brush pens um, so I can fill them up without needing a lot of water. Uh, I had a different one but Rick got his hands on it and turned it black because that's what he does. Uh, I'll do this. Just a bit of um, paper towel for wiping stuff on. I've been meaning to try to get my hands on a hanky. Not a hanky. A face washer, um, but I tried using one of the old ones, but it ended up getting a really funky smell, so I stopped using it. I just need to make sure I find a new one to get. Uh, okay, watercolor set. These are the Cotman series. Um, I really wish I could take a different watercolor set that I have with me all the time, because these are these are probably my favorite to use. Um, but they actually fit in here, like, really, really well. But, yeah, these, these are the ones that I take with me. They're my favourite set. Um, pretty, pretty standard colours. Still haven't used, whoops, where'd that go? Uh, still haven't really used this. Oh, ooh, careful, sweetheart. <coughs> because I'm sat on the floor, um, I'm looking up at the camera, so... <coughs> Oh, sweet pea, you want me to read a story? Okay, alright, I'll read you a story. I'll read you a story. Alright, I guess story's over. <laughs> um, but, uh, just to refresh my mind, so yeah, that's that's the watercolor set that I take with me. Um, alright, some pens. Multi liners. I need to cut down on how many I've got in here. Um, actually, what's that doing in there? Um, oh, one more. Uh, Alright, multi liners. Um, I'm trying to um, get rid of and stop using the black ones just because I. I don't really like using black. I think it looks uh, 
I can't actually think. But yeah, I'm just, I, I don't really like the look anymore. So what I've been trying to do, which I should actually do, is try to use these a bit more instead of using the other colours that I want to use. But um, I've got three uh, Pigma Microns that are all black. Um, the sizes, you probably can see, but there's uh, two threes and a one. And then I also have um, uh, one of the brown ones, um, and that's in a size one. Um, and then in the Copic ones, I've got an SP liner. Um, this is really weird. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it in another video or not, but for some reason this comes out a lot lighter than this one. And they're both the um, sepia ones. So, I'm, yeah, a little confused, but that doesn't really matter. That's fine. I actually prefer the colour of this one to this one, but, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there's these ones. There's a one and a three. Oh, sorry, a zero one and a zero three. Um, but yeah, that the sepia is probably like a color that I really like to use now. Um, and it started with this pen. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Um, and then I've got some Faber Castell ones. Again, um, still trying to get through my black one. Um, I think I've had this one now for quite a few years. Still haven't gone through it. Um, and then I've got uh, Dark Sepia, which I find it way too dark. It looks black. It it almost looks black. Um, so I don't really like it that much. But it, it's a good pen, though. Um, and then this one. Oh, I hate trying to read it. Sang Sanguine? Sanguine, whatever. Um, it's a red sort of colour. Um, actually, I've got a bit of paper here. Yeah. So, Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that was out of shot. Um, oh, out of frame. So there's the Copic one, the Copic multi, uh, disposable one, and then you've got the SP. Same again. Um, and then there's this one. Again, I'm really, really sorry about the background noise. <laughs> and then we've got like this red one, which I actually prefer. Um, so yeah, I'll hold that up a bit closer. Yeah, come back. So yeah, that's that's the colour of them. Um, from here, it doesn't look too obvious, but um, in real life there's a bit of a difference. Um, but I'm not sure if the computer's going to make it look any weirder or not. But yeah, the, the colours are just kind of meh. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to cut down on the black and use more browns. So yeah, there's them. Um, and then I also have... have, 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 have. So I have oh, which one's the best, which one's the best. Um So Farah Lou Um did a video I think she had a giveaway and she was giving away like a really awesome gold sort of pen. Um and then I looked at some of her other stuff that she did and I just I I really wanted to get some gold and silver. <laughs> pens. I had them when I was younger but I didn't really like them. But um, yeah, after watching a couple of her videos I sort of ran out and bought them. But um, yes, yeah, so I've got a gold and a silver. The, um, I can't read. So that's what I got. Those ones. 
And then the same one I've got as well. I've got, these are the white gel pens that I have. Um, here's the Uniball Signo Angelic White. Um, and then there's the typical Jelly Roll and then the Uniball Signo uh, Broad. I actually Mama. prefer using these two over the Jelly Roll. Um, I've found depending on what I'm actually putting the Jelly Roll on, it, no matter how dry it is, the white fades and it goes really transparent and translucent and I don't actually like it because I want, if I'm going to put white on something, I want it to be white, not, uh, yeah, it's, I can't think of how to describe it. <laughs> But I just, I don't really like using the uni bowl, not the uni bowl, sorry, the Sakura Jelly, jelly Roll, but, I mean, I've got, I think, three that I need to get rid of, so i got to use them eventually. No. Blah. Um, but yeah, they, these two are definitely my favourite. Um, if I want to do smaller ones, I, yeah, use this one, but then bigger ones, I use this one. Yeah. Oh, sorry, someone's moving the camera. Um... And then for sketching, Whoa. I have la, la, la. Um, I'll start with this one. What is it? Oh, this is the it's a Pentel mechanical pencil. I actually got this when I was in college, so mm, that was uh, maybe. I'm trying to think, 10 or more years ago, yeah, I think it's more than 10 now, um, but yeah, that's, I used to use this um, when I was studying Japanese, and I've got two of them, and yeah, I really like them, this is a really nice one that I got, um, and then I've just got some really crappy, normal um, HB leads that I put in it, uh, so nothing special there, um, and then I've got two... Pilot uh, color enos. Um, it's really difficult being in Tasmania to try and get the coat. Uh, oh, too many things. Oh, and baby's distracting. Um, the Prismacolor color pencils are really difficult to source um, because I live in Tasmania um, and they can actually be quite, quite expensive when you factor in shipping. Um, these are actually a lot cheaper. Um, I want to get some more colours. But yeah, these are the two that I've got. I've got the orange and the purple. Um, I like them. I actually like the orange more than the purple. But uh, yeah, so I've got these and I'm going to try and get more of them. Um, and then, of course, I've got... Uh, bleh, bleh. Two, Water two, brush pens. Two, These are the three that I use all the time. Um, this is a finer tip one that I use. Um, I've actually been using this one quite a while. Um, I don't really like the fine points on them. They're okay for some things, but I've actually found that I like the more broader tips but stupid me bought like a box of these <laughs> because it was actually cheaper to get a box of like 60 than it was to try to get some other ones but oh well I've got them doesn't matter waste of money but yeah I'll find something to do with them if I don't use them so there's that one um this one came with the Kuretake watercolor set that I've got so that's just the standard one that came with it. Um, I actually really like this one, except that it has a lid on it. I don't like lids. Um, and then this one. This ooh, super awesome, big, juicy guy. Look at that. Look at that juicy. Oh, pinch it. Anyway, um, sorry about that. <clears throat> this one also has... Does he have a lid? I can't remember. Ugh. No, he doesn't have a lid. It's pretty open. See? They're, they're the ones that I like because I can just put the stuff in. Put the stuff in. Put the water in. Um, but this one, uh, Richard got his hands on one of my old uh, 
mm -hmm. it wasn't old at the time. <laughs> he got a hold of one of my brush pens and the water brush pen and destroyed it. Um, so we bought him a bunch of cheap ones and I think it was like five dollars and we got him five. So they were a dollar each and I stole one. And I really like this one. It's actually my favourite. Uh oh, I think I need to read another story. Product placement. Hey, Dougie. Alright, I'm gonna pause this. Alright, um, that's over. So yeah, um, really cheap one from eBay and it's great. It's actually my favourite. So you don't have to spend. Oh, I think the cheapest one in store down here is about 10 or 11 dollars. <laughs> for one um, and you can just get them from eBay for like a dollar if you're lucky um, so yeah don't knock the other ones they're amazing uh oh that's to get invaded by books alright and then the last thing that I keep in there is my erasers I have a collection <gasps> Look in the way. so my collection of erasers um, this one uh, I've had this oof, way too long. <laughs> um, I got this one in high school, I think. Um, yeah, I think I got two, and this was the second one that I got. So I'm still... Oh no! That's the second one. Yeah, that's the first one that I got. So I'm still using this one. But it is, it is going. <laughs> it's almost gone. Um, but it is the um, Stadler Mars Eraser one. So... It's the same eraser, but very well loved. <laughs> and then this one, no. It's getting kind of cut down too. It's getting pretty small. So yeah. That's actually probably one of my favourite erasers, these two. Um, just how they work. I don't know what it is. But yeah. um, Then I've got this Faber-Castell one. I've got a couple of replacements for it. It's n it's a good eraser, but it's not an amazing one. Um, but I can't find the refills for it. So I need to try to find another sort of smaller one that I can get. Um, I think the refills are in here. Yeah, so they take it takes really tiny refills and I just can't can't find them. So I need to use them up and then buy a new one. Anyway, and then I've got a, I, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Ain? Is that Ain? Anyway, it's a Pentel Black, um, and then this is really, really good. Um, no one, I haven't seen anyone mention what black erasers are actually for. But I did some looking, and black erasers are really, really good for erasing color, uh, like color pencils. So if you use stuff like the um, Prismacolor color erase pencils, and then like these ones, it actually works a lot better than using, say, one of these. So yeah, I I really, really like my black one. I think he's awesome. And then in this cute little thing is my kneaded eraser. If I can get him out. Cannot remember what brand it is. Um, I think it's a... Oh, sorry. Um, I think it's a Faber-Castell one. I can't remember, but yeah, there's my kneaded eraser. I keep him in here so he doesn't stick up stuff because I can get a little container for him. But he lives in there and he's all happy. There was actually an eraser in this. A little pirate skull, but that's where my needed eraser sits. Little pirate tin. Um, so that's what I keep in my pencil box, pencil case, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's a couple of other things that I use, but again, this is this is what I grab if I'm going to go out anywhere. Um, so yeah, these these are my main things that I use, that I take with me when I can. So, yeah. I'm trying to get it in the camera, but it's not working. Yeah. So many pens. Um, but yeah, that's 
that's what I keep in there. Um, videos, I'm hoping, are going to go back to normal soon. I should probably stop doing this and just upload when I can. Um, but yeah, I'm currently working on something. Uh, I can probably grab it. Right I'm currently working on this. Blech. So, once this is done, um, I will actually be uploading the video for this one. So, I'm working on that currently. So, when that's done, that'll be up. Um, just trying to get back into the flow of, like, everything. It's difficult and annoying and I'm sick of getting so far and then something happened and then it just... I've got to start all over again. But, yeah. Um... Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll have, like I said before, I'll have a link to the artist that did these stickers. Um, unfortunately, um, I'll see if I can find it, but uh, this is Tentomon from Digimon. Um, a friend of mine actually sent me this one, so I'd need to find out who the um, artist is, but I don't know if I can find them. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Tentomon sticker that I've got on there. That one I won't have a link to, I don't think, because I don't know how long it'll take me to find find the person that did that. But yeah. But I will have a link to these ones. Um, or at least the artist, anyway. Um, so yeah. Uh, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to bringing out another video. So, bye!